All right, hi guys. I want to introduce you to a bike, a stationary bike called Carol. Carol AI because it's uh, powered by artificial intelligence and it's a bike that is meant for high intensity interval training or HIIT training as you might have heard. And the advantage of this bike is that you can do your workout in approximately eight minutes which is not that much shorter than other HIIT workouts but the interesting part of Carol is that the actual work that you put in, meaning the amount where you have high intensity, is only 2 times 20 seconds. So that's 40 seconds of work with some warm up, some recovery and some cool down afterwards. So only 40 seconds of work, but based on the scientific, scientific evidence that's behind Carol, the impact, meaning the, the health benefits, and the benefits in terms of performance are the same as if you go for a 45 minute run or do other types of exercises that might take you much longer. So I'm gonna start the 20 second intense workout as they call it, two times 20 second sprints. And in the beginning you warm up for two minutes at a very low intensity, so at about 10 watts or so. Now the interesting part is, or the purpose of, of Carol really is, to empty your muscles glycogen stores in those 2 times 20 seconds. And that really is what is the, the whole benefit of that bike, to empty those glycogen stores uh, through supra maximum intensity type of workout. So much more intense, much higher intensity than you would typically get. And so right now I'm pedaling and I have barely any resistance whatsoever. So it's very light. But once I, I have finished my warm up and I have to start the sprint, the resistance increases within a second. It's really quick. And then you feel like you're pedaling in, in mud. Now the cool thing is because your, the intensity is so short, your heart rate goes up so slow or with such a delay and recovers really quick that you don't sweat. So you can do this in a suit in the office. I'm in my home office right now. Um, and you can do this without even sweating. Very low pace and in, a, in about half a minute, it's gonna get rough, but only for 20 seconds. Keep that in mind. So we got 10 seconds. In a bit, the screen is gonna turn red, indicating for me that I have to run for my life or paddle for my life. First sprint, heart rate went up to about 160, 165. Now I'm recovering for three minutes. Again, pedaling slow, 10 to 12 watts. And in two and a half minutes, we go again. And yes, it is, it is tough because you cannot sustain that output for very long. But then again, it's only 20 seconds. So by using Carol three times 40 seconds a week, you can also improve your VO2 max. And that's the reason why I'm doing this, because I want to improve my CrossFit performance. And so on days off, the idea is to sprinkle these bike rides into my routine to improve my overall performance. And if I have on days where I don't have time to go work out because I don't have an hour or one and a half that it takes me, I always have a few minutes to get those rides in. And with 15 seconds, this one is the rough one. I won't lie.
resistance. Ramps up the last 10 or so seconds. It's brutal. But that's what it takes to empty your glycogen reserves. So you can see on the blue line and the red line, that's my first sprint and the second sprint. And as you can tell, the red one, the second one, was much lower than the first one simply because my legs were already getting tired. That's what it is. Let's carry my eye. I feel energized. Of course I do. I saved the ride. And here are the results. So I didn't beat my score from yesterday, which was uh, 1,191 watts. Today at 1,138. But it was still okay. My heart rate was lower than yesterday. And I feel pretty good about it. 